I'm back out here with the HBX 2997A. This time I have the GRP speed runs back on here. These tires are smaller in diameter than the tires I was previously running. Those AIMROC tires added some significant speed to this truck. They added uh, about five miles an hour or so. But I do have the taller gearing in here today. I have a 19 tooth pinion gear instead of the stock 16 tooth pinion. So a big thank you to Britt over at 110th scale performance. On 3S, with this setup before, this truck went 52 miles an hour before. And on 4S, it went 59 miles an hour. So it picked up, uh, it was like a little over six miles an hour when I jumped from the 16 tooth pinion gear, the stock 16 tooth pinion gear, to the 19 tooth pinion gear I'm running in here now. So, bench racing, it may go from 59 miles an hour, it did before on 4S, up to about 65. Hopefully I can keep it on the road because last time out here I had a horrible crash at probably 65 plus miles an hour running those bigger tires, but they would just start to the balloon really badly and uh, you couldn't go much above 60 miles an hour without some catastrophic results. So let's see what this thing can do. Oh, as far as modifications to the truck, I have a $40 ZTW Beast V2, 120 amp ESC, LDA RC receiver and transmitter to give me the extra range I need for these speed runs. And I have a cooling fan on the motor. Other than that, just some different connectors for the battery and the motor and uh, the GRP speed run tires. Otherwise, this truck is stock except the larger battery box link in the video description to the video where I show you guys how to enlarge the size of the battery box. All right, I have my Turnigy Panther 3S 2200 milliamp hour battery, my fastest 3S battery in the size. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in here and get the truck buttoned up. Okay, the GPS is zeroed out. And reading, and here we go. Three ass run. Now these GRP tires, they won't balloon. They should be uh, more stable than those larger AIMROC tires I was running that were ballooning really badly. However, they're really slick, especially on a cool morning like this morning. It's only in the low 70s, so it's kind of like driving on ice here, but let's see how we can do. I'm easing into the throttle. There we go, full throttle. Someone left some trash on the road I just ran into. The truck was real twitchy. I do need to try to get some of the slop out of this suspension. It's one of the big negatives of this HVX truck is there is a lot of slop in the suspension. At any rate, 51.8 miles an hour. My previous run with this setup with the GRP tires and a 16 tooth pinion gear was only 46 miles an hour. So we picked up nearly six miles an hour. So I don't know, it probably only hit 64, maybe 65 on 4S. Next up is the Turnigy Panther 4S 2200 milliamp hour. This thing's an absolute screamer, and uh, let's see what kind of speeds we can get today with this setup. I forgot that I uh, broke my battery strap last time out here, so I don't have a good way to tie this battery down in here. I'm gonna put a little tape on it and hope for the best. And for our 4S run, the GPS is zeroed out. And reading. into it full throttle it's tracking straight now oh no the battery just ripped out I hit the brakes too hard the GPS is on the road there's a car coming Of course, in my lane. Sorry for that. 
All right, 68 miles an hour. Damn. Thing was absolutely ripping, but did I break anything is the question. Well, let's see if I can get this thing pieced back together here. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I messed something up in the steering. It's to the side and uh, I can't seem to get it to go back to the neutral position. So that 68 mile an hour run might be it for today. Uh, that's unfortunate. All right, it looks like I broke another CVD. Yeah, I can see in there now it's broken. So the CVD joint broke. So that's it for today, unfortunately. All right, 68 miles an hour. I'll definitely take it, but I'm gonna put an asterisk next to that. I like to do back-to-back -back runs and make sure that it's a real reading. It is a new GPS as well, and I haven't had a chance to feel it out, so. Maybe it was 68, uh, maybe not, but that was faster than I expected to go. And uh, I'll try to throw a new CBD joint in here and get it out here and maybe next weekend when I have some more time. I forgot just how strong these brakes are on 4S and I just hit them a little too hard. When I get home, I need to remember to um, reduce the braking force on the ESC using the programming card. Keep forgetting to do that, but that's all I have for now, 68 miles an hour, maybe. And uh, this thing was an absolute ripper. Again, a huge thank you to Britt for sending me out that motor mount, allowing me to run a 19 tooth pinion gear that definitely helped this truck pick up some speed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.